This is <clears throat> Faron the Gnome. Kind of an ogre, but I say Faron the Gnome. And we are playing Lord of the Rings online. I'm trying to trying to get the light to work with me here. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a fantastic Tuesday. Uh, I'm having a decent Tuesday. Uh, I am on my level 92 elf champion. We are in the Helm's Deep expansion. And currently, to be more precise, we're in the Broad Acres area. We just got through going out here and killing a bad dude and some other bad dudes. And we're coming back to talk to the main guy here in Stoke. So that is where we are. <clears throat> Let's continue. Say you found this map of Stoke on the body of a villain from Bardorum? Is that right? Bardorum? Sounds good to me. I am not surprised. See these markings? Someone has made notes on this map, and though I cannot read the writing, I am familiar enough with my own walls to know what these annotations represent. Vulnerabilities in our defenses. Your secret foe is seeking to improve the orc's chances of raising Stoke. But you return to sorrowful news. Adgith found something and hastened to bring the news to me at once. Wigbald has been murdered. Speak to the child and hear her account. Well, that's horrible. I found a dead body. I was just telling the Reeve about it. I was running around on the eastern side of the town looking for that sour-faced fellow we talked about when I stumbled upon a body lying in the grass. I stayed just long enough to see if I knew who it was, and I did. It was Wigbald, one of the town guards. I remember his big red beard. He was always kind to me, and now I think that man you were looking for must have killed Wigbald before he fled the city. I can point out to you where I found his body, if you like. I was just telling the Reeve about it, and she says that I did the right thing to come to her at once. You tell Ag <coughs> Agath you will investigate the place she described, but you have your doubts. You do not remember Wigbald having a red beard. Hmm. Interesting. Hope everybody's staying warm. It's been an insanely cold week so far. Alright, let's see where we gotta go. Over that way. Is it on the inside or the outside of the wall? Ah, here it is. You cannot tell how long it has been since Wigbald was slain, but it seems he suffered a blow to the head from some heavy object. Dirt and mud on his clothes indicate that he was killed somewhere else and then dragged into the heavy grass. As you stare down at the body of the slain guard, something that has bothered you since you heard the news from Adgith slowly <coughs> resolves itself. This is not the same Wigbald with whom you spoke when you arrived at Stoke. If this is the body of Wigbald, who was it you spoke with at the entrance of Stoke? That's a good question. The man you spoke to is gone and left no sign. But, Koradan is here! We have been deceived, Lurandon. The man we spoke to when we arrived was not Wigbald at all. He was our quarry instead. I believe I can piece together the tale, but it brings me no joy to do so. Our secret foe arrived at the gates of Stoke sometime during the night, where he was challenged by Wigbald to identify him <coughs> to identify himself. What name did he give? Perhaps Edna or Go uh, Goding? Or another we do not yet know. What story did he weave for Wigbald? I cannot say, but my guess is that it played upon the guard's sympathies. From this I draw another conclusion. 
Our cunning foe must appear from the outside to be a good man of Rohan. There will be little about him to mark him as an enemy, or Wigbald would never have let him into Stoke. But let him <coughs> in he did, and at some point Wigbald was overcome and slain. What does it reveal about our foe that he was so bold as to take Wigbald's place and speak falsehoods to the very people in pursuit of him? That is what worries me the most, Lorandon. Our foe is bold, and he is cunning, and he is unafraid. It is clear to me now why he spoke of the Norcrofts, though it was not at the time. He was trying to steer us in the wrong direction. We must give this news to the Reeve. This tale is believable, but it makes my sorrow no less. Instead, it fans the flames of my anger. This man you pursue must be made to pay for his crimes. He sought to send you to the Norcrofts. His pride will be his undoing, for by revealing his charade, we have discerned his next course. He wanted you to look eastward. Turn your eyes westward, and you'll find where next lead his schemes. After teaching the orcs of Bard Dorum how best to attack Stoke, this cunning snake of yours fled the Brock Broadacres. I'm certain of it. He has gone to the Stone Deans. <clears throat> Hello, Ding level 93. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I have no close ties with my neighbors to the west, save the oaths we share, but I wish them no harm. If this snake has entered the Stone Deans, they must be warned of the danger he poses. A secret enemy combined with the dangers they already face endangers the whole of my writing. He must be stopped, and now only a few know his face. You've seen it, as has poor departed Wickbald. Bring this knowledge to Reeve Hermond in the Stone Deans. His seat is in the town of Woodhurst, located in the northern region of the Stone Deans. Hermond is very old, and there are whispers that he has been in poor health of late. If he is indisposed, you should speak to his wife, Bryant. Or Bryant. <coughs> she is of Dunlandish blood, but she is strong in her own right. Alright, so it would appear we're moving on. But I think we have quest outside here. Let me check when we get back outside, because I think we still have quest to do here. We do something with the music. It's just a little too loud. That's a little better. Yeah, so we had something still up here. There's where we're going over to the Stone Deans. But what is that up there? It's Serving the Summons, Part 1. Gain entrance to the Mead Hall of Ozerly. Oz we'll run up there real quick and check on that.
keeps turning the names off on everybody. I passed the wizard Gandalf on the road not long ago, and he mentioned that he wishes to speak with you. The king is in Westfold <clears throat> at Helm's Deep. He braces for war. Will you ride to him? Gandalf is apparently searching high and low for uh, Erkenbrand, Elfhelm, Grimbold, and all their company. He needs your help. But not right this second. We're in the middle of some quest. Keep going. There we are. Greeting, stranger. What news from beyond? What? Stoke is under siege? Ah, you must speak with Thane Ordlack at once. You have le a leave to enter the Mead Hall. Thank you, York. Welcome, stranger from afar. It is seldom that we greet travelers, even from other parts of Rohan. May I offer you some wine or ale? Indeed, I was about to sit down to a meal. Would you join me? What is this? Ah, I did not think I would see this signet in my lifetime. My father granted it to Edmar, Frithild's husband, to use in the event Stoke needed our aid. Tell me what has transpired that would bring Frithild to such a need. It is amazing no how I'm sorry. <clears throat> it is amazing how we can be so sheltered from the devastation that has befallen our riding. But as I told you, we seldom receive travelers here. Of course, we will begin to muster our meag uh, meager garrison at once. If we are to do so, we will need help ourselves quelling some small disturbances that have come our way. But with our fighting men being distracted from their duties here, speak with my chief captain Dudsig near the stables. He will know what needs to be done. Do not be put off with his appearance. He is from the Stone Deans, where many have the misfortune to have some part of the wild Dunlending blood mixed with that of the Mark. Don't mind me, just ice skating my way out here. You are not from here, that much is clear. You say that Thane Ordlek has requested you aid us with our troubles. What troubles do you speak of? Ah, Stoke is under siege and Ordlek rallies, rallies to Reeve Frithold's aid. Then indeed I have a task for you. We have had some small troubles with brigands here, mainly poor folk from the Stone Deans, I think, in search of food. But they have become dangerous. These wayfarers have stolen food and other goods from the people of Osserly. Perhaps you can reclaim these things. They have been seen and camped in the western fields at sundry times. At sundry times, something like that. All right. better at this.
from. Whoa! We just rubber banded across there. we got going on okay they're not on mounts Let me introduce you to a little shing shing homeboy Serious server lag going on right now. Good, these are slayers. Slayer deedables. You know, I like my slayer deeds. There, we got all of those. Do I need these guys for anything other than a Slayer? Oh, they're just Slayer D. We can go turn that back in. Some serious rubber banding going on there. It amazes me that the servers struggle with that so much. In this day and age, it just shouldn't be. <clears throat> what is this? There are few who can read among the people of the Mark, especially among my folk. It is strange that one such as those robbers would bear such a thing. I do not like the tenor of this message, as you might have presumed already. These seem to be orders directing these brigands to stir trouble among us. Look here, it is signed with an S. Could this be the work of Saruman? Could be. This is dire news if Saruman seeks to undermine our people. You should take this note to Thane Ordlak. He will wish to know what has transpired. He is young, but he is wise. You returned. I just talked to you, but now I'm surprised. You returned. I was uncertain that you truly cared about the people of our village. I am glad that I was wrong. Take this reward for your efforts. And who are we supposed to see? Okay, the main guy. Get on our ordinary mount so we don't ice skate all across town here. Come on, server, wake up.
Dudsig sent you with this note. Let us take a look at it. It appears, my friend, that we have a traitor among us. This note implies that one of my retainers may be in league with Saramon. If indeed one of my retainers is a traitor, this could bode ill for any effort we make to uh, bring, bring aid to Stoke. I will continue my muster, but I must ask you to investigate this villainy. If you would, speak with Senoff, or Kenoff, or however you pronounce his name. One of my most trusted lieutenants. I have need of Dudsig's assistance, but Kenoff can guide you during your investigation. You may you find him near the mill here in Osterley. Alright. Let's go find Kenoff. Ken 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 and where is he going to be? That way. Somewhere over here. There he is. Again, his turned off. No, there it is. Let's say at first I was going to say it had turned off the names, but now it's showing it now. Dudzig told me of the assistance you have already wrought. We will welcome your aid now and grant you any information you need to find the traitor in our midst. If it is true that the orders were given by Saruman the White, then it may be that you can find more information among the half-orc scouts who harry our lands. They ride hither and thither, hither and thither, among the plains to the west. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. So we're going to go kill a bunch of uh, half-orcs, archers and stuff out here. We'll switch over to our war steed when we get out of town. In fact, I think we just got out of town that fast. That was interesting. Okay. Didn't realize I was that close to the edge of town. By the way, if you're watching on Twitch and you enjoy my content, thank you. If you would, go ahead and hit the follow. If you're over on YouTube watching one of my rebroadcasts, please hit the uh, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you would, leave a like and a comment. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference with uh, my videos showing up when people do searches and stuff. I can definitely see a difference when y'all do that. Oh, what's this? There's something going on here. Dispatching a nuisance. Half orcs are not the only servers going right in the field. Goblin skirmishers. Okay, we can kill them as well. And the leader of the half orcs. Arsley are particularly dangerous. Uh, you should defeat the leaders of the Athor near Arsley as well. All right, so we got a couple of extra quests. Let's see. Here's some goblins. I just wanted to slow down. I didn't want to come to a halt. Stupid, uh, Juan is following me, attacking me. Got that one. All right. Nothing following me? Okay. I want to get this. I need lots of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that was a good hit there. It's all of those guys. Something over here we need to go towards. Who's following me? Oh, get back up. What is it that's showing up over here? Are that servants of Saruman? Defeat mounted half orcs. Okay. So it wasn't a name guy I was looking for. I definitely need these, let me tell you I do. Was six or six. What do I got over here? That right there? There. Fingers of the white hand. Defeat Rackblog. <coughs> it's Una's. First Rackblog at. Do I have to get him, kill him to get the other one to spawn? <laughs> I know is he's dead. There he is. Whoops. Got him. Good lord, did you see that rubber band? That was insane. You are mighty indeed to have faced and defeated the leaders of the half-orcs. Is there nothing you fear? You found a note upon one of the creatures? Let me see it. This is not good. Not good at all. You should bring this note to the Thane Ordlack at once. It contains information that he must see. Do not delay. But first, let me turn in this other quest. And confess to sur uh, surprise that you live still, for the foul half-orcs are not without skill. Nevertheless, you have done some good for the Broad Acres. 
even if you found not upon their remains to implicate the traitor. I should say, well done, and offer you a reward. Okay. Well done, and here's your reward. Greetings, Lorandon. I'll go sure hunt. You found another note? Let me see it. Ha! These brutes think to murder my wife within my very home. These half-orcs were careless indeed to be carrying these orders upon their persons. Well, we shall take advantage of this to be sure. Hey, what do you know? My, my mount just leveled. Ha! These oafs. Oofs. What? Oafs? Dare to consider the murder of my wife? And in my own home, no less. But we shall just have to make them rue their imp imp impudence. Speak with Dudsig, he shall give you the key to my home. Go to Lufa and stay with her. When the villains come to perform their heinous act, you shall dispatch them. Nay, do not look at me so. Lufa is the daughter of Gisling and granddaughter of Gizel, Thane of Garsfeld. My marriage to her sealed the alliance between our houses. How do you think it would look if I were to let her perish at the hands of ruffians? Nay, I doubt not your talents, my friend. I have no idea what he went off about there at the end of that. That was kind of weird. Indeed, I have the key, and here it is. It is a brilliant plan, I think, that my Thane has considered. How best to deal with the situation than to have you confront the villains in his own home, where you may better protect Lady Lufa. Thane or Lack's home is just up the road, leading to the Mead Hall, if you have not already taken note of it. I haven't taken note of it. Oh, where's it at? It's up here. Was it literally right here? It would appear as though it's right next to him. <laughs> He's like, it's up the road. It's right there. Alright. There she is. Who are you? Oh, my husband sent you. Is he afraid that his trophy might be lost? Please do not mind my words. They are born of sorrow. I should be glad of some company. You wonder why I grieve so? I am recently wed to Thane Ordlack, but here I have not found love. Last I must call his home mine, yet I do not recall that he has ever come to this house since we were married. Truly, even did he show his love to me, I do not think I could be con uh, consoled, consoled, for my heart does not care for him as it should. Would you bring me a cup of wine from the table? If you are willing to hear my tale, then I shall need the refreshment to soothe my throat thirst. Please don't be one of those things where you take me into this and I have to play the history. Those are my favorite. Thank you. You have shown me a kindness. You wish to know why I grieve so as the wife of such a young and handsome thane. It is because my heart belongs to another. I am only wed to Ordlak because my father desired an alliance with Osrily. I do not think my father would have promised me to Ordlak if he knew the lonely life I would lead here, but it is done now. Session play, that's what I was trying to think of. Or like visited Garsfeld often in the past. Or, I gotta figure out where that's at. Ingratiating uh, himself to my grandfather Gizel. One day, not long before the orcs began openly roaming the mark, he came professing his love for me. Oh, it's just shooting up the screen. I can hardly read the chat. And asking for my hand in marriage. My father Gizling, will you slow down? Believed that or oh my god she will not stop talking um what is that game professing it my father gisling believed that ordlack was sincere and saw in our union the opportunity for an alliance against the orcs he granted ordlack my hand 
What my father did not understand is that my heart already belonged to Torfirth, son of Thane Tordag of Torsbury. I begged father not to require me to wed Ordlak, but it was to no avail. He told me that I was young and that I would learn to love the Thane as he loved me. Alas, since I came to this place, Ordlak has put me aside with seeming indifference, like a trophy for the wall. I do not recall him ever visiting this home that is supposed to be ours. How can I learn to love a man who has rent my heart from my breast and left me a lonely and hollow shell of a woman? The worst part is that Torferth believes that I married Ordlak willingly. When he learned of our marriage, he was angered, believing that I had betrayed him. There have been moments when I felt that I would rather die than continue in this miserable life. My God, that was a lot of text. Now do you understand why I grieve? I will abide by my father's wishes, for I love him and would not be disobedient, even for my own sake. But I begin to feel like I will become old from sorrow and loneliness before my time. I do have one request to ask of you, though. If you continue to Torsbury, as you say you must, would you bring this, my favor, to Torferth? He thinks me unfaithful, and I wish him to know that my heart still belongs to him, even though we may, may never fulfill our heart's desires. You think it true that the enemy shall attempt to take my life tonight? It would be good to know that you will remain with me then. Will you stay and guard the door? Yes, of course I will. Will you check the door and windows after I retire? Perhaps if they're, they are secured, you will have no need to risk your life on my behalf. Secure the windows and door. Where, where are the... That's going to take me outside, is it not? It doesn't seem smart. But what do they mean, secure it? I don't understand. Am I supposed to go outside? Windows and doors are securely locked. Okay, so it just magically did that on its own. Okay, here comes the bad guys. Defended so and so against the white hands something or others. Let's see what's on this guy. I found a dagger covered with a slimy black substance. Dr. Lufa. Oh, there she is. What happened? Did the brigands indeed try to kill me? Hi, I am unharmed. Is that all of them? Are there any hiding in the shadows? You, you saved my life. How may I repay you? No need. No need. It's what I do. It's my pleasure. Uh, let's see. Do I need? I need to talk to her some more. I cannot thank you enough, Lorandon. Had you not come, I would have certainly perished. Boy. I cannot thank you enough. If you had not come, I would surely have perished. I said this already once. Perhaps I have misjudged Lord Buck. I did not think him capable of caring for anyone other than himself, and even less capable of truly loving anyone, including himself. But perhaps I was wrong. Why would he send someone so bold and valiant to protect me if he did not have some spark of compassion within himself? I do not, and do not believe I ever will, love him, but perhaps there is hope that my grief and loneliness may be lessened in the days to come. Return now to Dudsig and let him know that you have done your duty. The brigands are vanquished, and I am safe. He will want to see that dagger as well, I think. doing it's right over here y'all didn't see the guys come through the door what oh you startled me i thought i had seen a spirit the brigands have been put down and lady lufa is safe that is well for if she had perished we would likely have seen war with garsfield uh now let us see that dagger this poison upon the blade of this dagger is sec uh, secreted by the slugs that dwell in the marshes to the east, it is quite deadly and must be collected with much care. Perhaps that is where the leader of these brigands skulks. If so, we should be dealt. Uh, he should be dealt with. Perhaps if you are able to dispatch him, his followers will return to the stone beans and leave us in peace. 
over here. Okay. Let's go see what we can find over in the uh, marshes here. Oh, that's a quest. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. That's in UI. I think it's way down here. Quest. I am busy. I always accept automatic quest. There it is. Accept. I forgot I had turned it off on him. Because every time I turned around, I was getting a uh, oh a quest for those elite riders and stuff when I was doing uh, Riders of Rohan expansion. And I ran right by him. There's his camp. Nothing else here? It appear to be. Alright, well, we'll go kill bad guys then. Right after we'll pick up this this Erlingus Skarn deposit because I need millions of them. Oh boy, we are lagged big time. So I say I had, I had told it to shoot him with an arrow long before it, it stopped me, and I was just standing there. I've been uh, struggling with a decision here lately, dealing with the game. I uh, I love my Mariner character. I've gotten him up to level sixteen. I've been doing uh, oh, mine's a Mori expansion. Wow, that sucks on that, that snare. And I did some content, some dungeon content with him. And earlier, you know, in the year or last year, I, I did some stuff in uh, uh, raid stuff on him. And I found, much like with most of the classes in here, they, it gets quite complex. And I'm not good at complexity. Uh, I'm old. <laughs> I just kill things. I want to hit buttons. I, want, I, want, I don't want a ton of buttons in situations where I got to figure out which one I need to do when and so on and so forth. So I've been contemplating on going back to my champion as my main. Mariner's cool. He is a really cool class. Don't get me wrong. It's just... You know, I'm here for the story. I'm really not here for complexity in uh, combat. What do y'all think about that? What's your opinion? Y'all think I'm stupid for changing my mains yet again? My champion was my main long ago. I mainly did the uh, oh Mariner because he was a brand new class and I wanted to play it and experience it and it's a fantastically fun class. Uh, but I also did it for my kinship because I needed a class that was lower level to level up in uh, you know the content because we were doing the level lock stuff. But as you can see when I go over here to the kinship and here lately every day I get on I I click on here and see I'm the only person on. You can see this this is me my mariner this is me my champion and you go 22 hours ago it's my friend from work terranor and then you go three days back there's willy billy silly another three days back is me five days ago is an, another actual player albie 
That's his other character, Albion. That's a different person. Then you get me again at 22 days. And then at 28, 29, 29, 30s, 50s. Long story short, the kinship's falling apart. It, it just is what it is, and I don't blame anybody. People get bored of uh, of something, and it's a game. I'm not going to hold it against them for going and doing something else. It's not a big deal. But the thing is, is that the whole idea of uh, doing uh, dungeons, whole expansions together as a kinship, isn't going to work when it's only like two or three people that are actually playing in the kinship. So now I don't really have that uh, need. Um, oh, no no problem, really. No, don't worry about it. But I, I don't really have that need of playing a low-level character and staying in the level lock because I'm not going to necessarily need to do that. So I can get back to playing my high-level characters if I want. Yeah. am I needing out here? Just these things? Yeah. You know, I've always said uh, these th these are just games. You should do what makes you happy. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Don't ever play a game because somebody else wants you to play it. Play it because you enjoy playing it. I need more of the worms, but I'm not positive. If I get another one, I'll mouse over it and see. I know I don't need any more of the birds. <clears throat> There's one in the distance. Yep, I need three more of these things. Maybe we'll mount up and go look for one. It seems to be taking forever to find them. Ooh, we need that. Hmm. I saw in their producer's letter that came out today that um, I guess this summer is when they'll be putting in the. Uh, the fourth profession, your ability to take a fourth profession. I was hoping that was coming sooner than uh, that far off, but you know, it is what it is. But I also saw that they're putting in another hobby. They didn't say what the hobby was, but I'm interested in seeing what that is. I hope that'll be fun. Because you know I do the fishing, as it is. Granted, this character is very far behind on his fishing. If I could just focus on one character, I could get somewhere <laughs> in this game. But I never focus on one character. Oh, man. I'm an altaholic. Can't help it. I'd give anything if the ordinary steeds, like this one that I'm riding right now, not a war steed, but an ordinary steed, could get a speed increase to be as fast or close to as fast as the war steeds, and it would ride like normal steeds like this one does, and not the ice skating thing they do. You survived the marshes with all the poisonous slugs. I was not sure one unaccustomed to these lands would have come out alive. I must congratulate you. I don't know why everybody in this game sends you off to do stuff, and when you come back, they're like, I'm surprised you lived. It's like, why did you send me there? <laughs> Thane Ordlack will want to thank you for your services himself, I am sure. He awaits you in the Mead Hall. Do not keep him waiting long, for his summons arrived before you. <clears throat> they're always like, I can't believe you lived through that thing I sent you on. I was sure this was going to kill you.
Ah, welcome back, my friend. I must thank you for saving my dear wife and putting an end to the brigand threat. Your efforts were unexpectedly valiant and deserving of this reward. Oh, I get something. What do we got? That's not good. That's okay. That's even better. Is it better than what I got on there? I would say it is. Let's go ahead and find a finger to put that on. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to put it where the Iron Ring of Edoras is at. There it is. My muster is complete. I have not a large force, but my garrison is prepared to march to Stoke's defense. I suggest that you make for Torsbury at once. You are likely to be in more dire straits than Osserly. <clears throat> I would take as straight a route as you may, for you will not want to come here there too late. I shall send Dudsig with a handful of my finest warriors to assist at Torsbury, while I myself lead the remainder of my garrison to Stoke. May fortune go with you, Lorand. We did something. Remote quest. Bring Lufa's favor to Dwarfer. Okay, Dwarfer. <clears throat> What level? <coughs> Sorry. What level is your character on uh, that other server? On uh, Landerfall? I just realized I don't know where I'm going. 126. That's pretty cool. Up to 11 ingots. I really need to play more of those. And we're rubber banding. And we're rubber banding again. Oh, I need that. Stop. Go back for it. There you go. Oh, I just realized I can give him another point in something. What do I want to give points in? I'm basically just taking everything at this point. Is it not letting me take them? It says I have points, but it's not letting me. <coughs> it might be... <coughs> Sorry. It may be lagged, I don't know. Hmm. It's weird. I've got a point and it won't let me spend them. Let me get off of him and get back onto him. That is so weird. Does it say it costs more than one? Two points to next rank. That's what it is. Uh, two point. Okay, so I don't have enough for those yet. <coughs> we'll just have to level him up. I like the concept of leveling up uh, and you know using earning points and stuff like that on the mount. I just wish that it was on my ordinary mount and not on this one. I mean, I don't want to get rid of the war steed. Don't get me wrong. People get all upset when I say that. I'm saying I also would like those same kinds of things uh, on my ordinary mount. Why do I get the feeling that it hasn't caught up with me and there's mobs around me or something?
What is this you bring me? I recognize it. This belongs to Lufa, daughter of Gisling. Uh, but did she not wed Orlek of Oserly? You say that she did not wed him out of love? Alas, that we should be torn apart for politics and alliances. I will treasure this and swear if Ordlek does not bring her joy, he shall feel the taste of my steel. I am sorry, I should not speak so harshly before you. <clears throat> are you blind? Can you not see that we are in the midst of a war, Council? Have not the time to... What? The signet of Torsbury? That can only mean that Stoke is under siege. May Saruman the White burn forever in the fires he has kindled. Curse his mangy hide. Ah, Frithold will have to wait. I have lost Torsbury. Nay, I am not disloyal, whatever it may seem. I just know Frithold. She can hold fast without me. I should know. Look at my nose. <laughs> she broke it herself, she did. We'll attend to Stoke, do not worry, but first I must reclaim my town. I cannot bandy words any longer. My son Torferth is in charge of gathering information we can use to form our counter-assault. Speak with him and help him as you may. The sooner Torsbury belongs to us, the sooner we can drive Saruman's lackeys back to Isengard. <clears throat> yeah, what is that? Did you not hear what I said? Massive it is, and I have seen it with my own eyes. Well, at least the shadow of it. There are terrible creatures roaming this land. In the east fold, down in the farthest reaches of the fin Finmarch, dwells the great Fastitolokalon. What the hell? Fastitolokalon. Okay, who came up with that name? A terrible beast. Fishermen mistake it oft for a small island, and it devours them. In the northwest of the Stone Deans, there lies an ancient shrine built by the ancestors of the Dunlandines. It is rumored that a demon guards it still. A creature with great long fangs in the south of the West Fold. It is said there dwells a terrible dragon, if you can believe it. No one here believes me, but I know it is true. As you travel throughout Fair Rohan, find these creatures and slay them. Then no one will call me mad again. <clears throat> This quest is designed for a raid of 12 players. Well, then we aren't taking it. This one, is this a raid as well? No. They move. I saw them. The trees. There are other things in Fangorn as well. Dark things with evil hearts. I have heard tell of winged creatures like women and walking skeletons. <clears throat> winged creatures like women and walking skeletons. What the hell? They are all gathering beneath the shadow of Mordor. No one believes me, of course. They all say I am mad. Go into the accursed wood and bring proof of the terrors within, and I will reward you as I may. Do not defeat neutral horns. Okay, I'll probably screw that up somehow, I'm sure. I must ask your pardon for my father's harshness. He is a good man, but none too clever and is embarrassed that he allowed Torsbury to fall. The Dunlanese came upon us silently in the night and had already put the town to the torch before anyone could sound the alarm. It seemed like they came from nearly every direction and without warning. Now he plans to retake Torsbury and has put me in charge of gathering information. I may be young, only 18 summers, but I have seen my share of battles and know the habits of the orcs. I need you to ride out to Torsbury and through the fields to the south to learn what kinds of forces are arrayed against us. With that information, we can lay the best plan for our counter-assault. Alright, so let's get rolling here. We got stuff everywhere. We're getting all kinds of stuff. Okay, hammer get right. There we are. Okay, so we gotta kill a lot of uh, mounted people from what I'm getting gathering. But not until after we get this ore.
Where is that? I got something marked that seems rather bad. Oh, there he is. That's not the guy I had marked, but anyway, we're going to kill him as it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have hunted down and slain the owner of the goblin badge you discovered. The people of the Broad Acres shall no longer fear his return. What is this? Light armor, medium, where's the heavy? Vitality and might. Might and vitality. Seems nice. We'll take it so that we can continue on because we're in a battle. Holy crap. going to die. Just so I jump off so I can hit my thing. The heal. He hits a lucky hit. Oh! Anybody get the number on that bus that just ran me over? <gasps> Come here, Buffalo. I've had it. You keep chasing me around when I'm in the middle of a fight. There you go. There's your sign. You have defeated Agor, the captain of the half orc riders, the western part of the prod acres. Here's our heavy atoms. One. And continue our quest. Um. Need some in this direction. There's that war band out here. I don't know that I can beat it. It's killed me already once. But 
took out one of his buddies. I don't know if they just come back when I die or not. There he goes! Just knocked me off. Come back here. Fight me like a man. <laughs> there is zero chance I'm winning this. Trying to stay behind him, but I know that ain't gonna work. I just can't do enough damage against him. Let's see, where are we at? Way over here. What we got over here next to me? I only need the Goblin Riders for the Slayer, dude. That's why I'm not bothering with them right now. I don't want to go down the river. This is going to be bad. Come on. something right here. Here are those. Gotcha. 
Okay, I guess I do need more of the, uh... Then there's a particular type of goblin I needed. Not that type. He's good. Got him. I do not want to do that war band again. I need to be killing. Beat goblin spearmen. Spearman. What we got going? Oh no, hell no. Nope, nope, mm -mm, nope. Killed that guy so many times. Just need spearmen. The war band's coming back around.
spearman. I in here getting this ore, and I realize the guy right in front of me is what I'm needing. One more. Spearman. And I'm apparently lagged out. It's not letting me fight him. And they're not moving. Okay, that's weird. Finding another spearman. Just stand here in the fire while I get this ore real quick. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. <sighs> Mounted goblins everywhere and no spearmen to kill. Unreal. I guess we'll start killing them till one spawns. You almost die because one spearman won't come out and fight me. Therefore, the rest of your army must be slaughtered. You can blame the spearman that's hiding. those we up to 29 that's not bad <clears throat> only need a gazillion more of them
Where the hell did he go? Wow, look at that. That was weird. I knocked him off of his mount. That was wild. That's so weird. The game is is freaking out. Spearman! <coughs> Yay! We killed the spearman. So the question now is, what are those circ seriously? So what are these circles over here that the stupid thing keeps going around over and over? War band? That's part of the war band? Oh hell, what a waste of time. <coughs> Cancel. Yep, now it's not there. head back to turn these in. It looks like we got something up here we still need to do. Enemies abound and <coughs> determine the composition of the enemy's forces. Okay, we'll do that. did everything. Now we can go turn it in. You know, I really thought when I finished Riders of Rohan expansion that I'd be done with the mounted combat. But we're in Helm's Deep expansion and I'm still doing mounted combat. It is as I feared. They have a great array of warriors, but your news is not all bad. It appears that most of the enemy army is comprised of wild Dunlindings, with whom we have much experience in battle and half-orc raiders. If their only support is a small contingent of goblin warg riders, this should not be terribly difficult. The news you brought me is grim, but I think there are measures we can take to even the battlefield a little. Share your report with my father and advise him to send small forays against the enemy. It may be that we can weaken their defenses before initiating a full counter assault on Torsbury. Do we have a turn in here or is this just that raid thing? This is the raid thing.
So Torferth believes we should make small forays against the enemy to weaken their defenses. While I can certainly see the value in such things, I believe a more direct approach would be better. Dudsig here agrees. He arrived shortly after you did. I have a task that I think better suits your talents. I am more interested in knowing how strong the forces are at Torsbury itself. We can deal with the ranging foe later. <coughs> I want you to enter Torsbury, if you are able, and test the strength of the enemy by defeating some of their warriors. While you are there, scout the gates to determine how well they are defended. You have but to follow the road north and west, and you will come upon the ruins of my town. Return to me when you have acquired a good sense of the situation there. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, I still got time. Alright, let's head over there and see what's up. Oh, come on. Oh, that's Scholar. I wish it wouldn't show me this stuff that I can't actually pick up or make it to where it's not clickable. the rest of these uh, barricades at? Do I just keep going back to the same ones while I keep getting credit for it? No. Well, okay. But no, I didn't get credit for it. it must be up around here somewhere.
everybody get together. Let's, let's do this more efficiently. Of course that one's not gonna come out. Everybody go back to this moron over here. As soon as I hit the right button. Wasn't that sneaky? I kicked her ass. I see that sneak over there.
Was that everything? Yeah, because I killed him earlier. You say that my town is well guarded against counter assault. Let us hope then that your efforts to weaken the enemy's defenses there have been fruitful. The numbers you speak of are great, but I am still of a mind to retake my town. Dudzig believes that with the aid of his people we can prevail. I still have many stout warriors and there are many able refugees among us. However, some of my folk and the refugees do not share my confidence. If you would, go among my people, especially their leaders, and speak words of courage. Rally them to my cause. I will force none to go to battle against such odds, but neither would I have them remain behind in fear and shame when there is no cause. Thane Tordag is a proud and able warrior. I have no doubt this battle will go as I anticipated. He needs not fear that my men and I shall be present during the counter assault. Now people were driven from the Stone Deans by these raiders. Though many of us bear both Rohirrim and Dunlin in blood, and many remained behind, siding with Dunlin, we have chosen to remain faithful to Theoden King. We shall fight. Blah, blah, blah. I do not agree with my father and Dudsig. The risk is too great. We should retreat to Stoke and rally with Reeve Frithril. However, I will stand beside my father as will my men. Thane Tordug is my lord and I shall not abandon him, neither will my men. We are riders of the mark. We shall prevail against the wild men of Dunlin and their half-orc allies. Never fear. Thane Tordug is a brave and valiant warrior, however not all of his people are. Nevertheless, we shall fight beside him, for these wild men have burned and pillaged our homes, and we would have our vengeance. Everybody is with you. All is well, then. Let us prepare to move against the foe. The time is upon us. It is well, it seems. My people and my allies are prepared to stand with me and take back what belongs to Rohan. This day we shall assault the Dunlanines at Torsbury and reclaim the town. Will you join my garrison, Lorandon? You have proven yourself a talented champion and would be a boon to our efforts. Are you ready to leave? Good then. Let us bring our wrath upon those barbarians. All right, here we go. Hey, Potenoboan. Didn't see you come in. How are you doing tonight? While men have allied themselves with foul creatures in the service of the enemy, I do not believe there is any good in them, if ever there was. Let us put these dogs down. <laughs> We're Torsbury and the Broad Acres.
they not coming over here? Won't let me fight that one. Bell Orc, I swear I shall bring my vengeance upon your master. Do you think I fear you, Tordag, of something? You're Straw heads should learn to something. You have walked into the trap, my wife. Skin bit way too fast. <clears throat> that dude just hit him. Well, I think we found the traitor. We cannot win the day, Lorandon. We must retreat and regroup at my father's camp. Before we do that, let's check these things. Alright, we're all good. Lorraine, how far fare you after the battle? I knew that we moved too quickly against Torsbury. As well, we should have foreseen the treachery that befell my father. There is no honor among the half-bloods. I beg your pardon, Lorraine, for it is not your doing, and I should not rail against you. My thanks for your services. Lorraine, you find me in a terrible state. I wish to grieve my loss, yet I am now Thane. I cannot afford that privilege. I suspect uh, that there is more behind my father's murder than a single traitorous coward. Came to bed, have a great stream. Hey, thanks a lot, Poting. You have a nice night. <clears throat> uh, from what I've learned, Frithmund was not a clever man. It is doubtful that he crafted the trap himself. I confess I have become suspicious of everyone around me but you. You are new to Torsbury, and the one who masterminded the, this plan had to already know somewhat of my father's ways. Will you speak with my captains and our allies? You may learn something from them that they might not be willing to share with me. But also have you obtain their permission to search their belongings. It is the nature of evil to unwittingly leave signs of its actions. Let me guess. You're going to tell me about the raid. Yes, you are. The people of Torsbury love their Thane. I can think of none among us who would even consider betraying him. It was one of those Woodhurst mongrels what killed him. You should be questioning them instead. We are the Th uh, Thane Torfirth's people. will submit to his will, but it is an insult. We have fought and bled with him. Do what you must and leave me be. Thane Tordag sheltered my folk when the Dunlandines came to Woodhurst, despite the Council of Tidric and his own reservations regarding any who are not pure of blood. Yet it was one of my folk who betrayed him. 
I can understand the young Thane's suspicions, and we will willingly consent to whatever questions or searches he dreams necessary to ally, allay his suspicions. Hmm? So this is who Lorandon was typing to? I'm lost, Torner. Uh, let me see what I'm saying. I can understand. So, alas, I cannot say much more about Frithmund. I confess that he was little more than a casual acquaintance in Woodhurst. Did not know him well. Oh, maybe you're talking about who, uh, uh, Albie. That was in, uh, Kinship Chat. Oh, the window was hidden. That's funny. Ah, does the boy's hatred of all who do not bear the pure blood of Rohan run so deep that he would cast as aspirations, aspersion, whatever, upon us all? It is an insult, not only to me, but to my Thane who sent me. We came to aid Torsberry, and now he seeks hostilities. Nevertheless, Torfirth is now Thane of Torsberry, and these are his forsaken lands. I will submit, but you may inform him that I will be bringing my grievances to Thane Ordlack and Reeve Frithild. I have brought no possessions of my own, save what you see upon my person, but you have my leave with objection to search my tent and those of my men. I've ever been a faithful servant to Thane Tordag, and it is an insult to be treated with the same suspicion as the half-blood rabble. However, I cannot fault Torfirth for his blind suspicion. He has just lost his father and become Thane of Torsbury in one evil stroke. My men and I will submit to whatever searches and inquiries Thane Torfirth demands of us, and we will be found innocent, one and all. Alas, I warn Thane Tordag not to admit the folk from Woodhurst. The half-bloods cannot be trusted. You should look more closely into their number, or even that captain from Oserly. All right, so a mysterious letter. Hello. Found evidence of another traitor. Torn Falcon Clan badge. A note. Seems to be traitors all over the place. Curious necklace. They leave their crap everywhere. Unlending knife. Alas, I know not what to make of these things. The knife could easily belong to any of the folk from Woodhurst, for many of them bear the blood of both Rohan and Dunlin. The note can be read many ways, some suspicious, some not. The Falcon Clan badge is in is incriminating. It could just as likely be a trophy from the battle. The necklace could be just that, though its design is not familiar to me. The letter piques my suspicion the most, for it is signed with an S, which could stand for Saruman and read strangely, but it is also in a hand not well trained in letters. You'll have to think upon these things. I have thought about these things. Reeve Frithel was wise in choosing you to bring her, her summons. Alas, however, my people cannot come yet to Stoke. We are worn from our battle and from the grief of loss, but as well I must learn who the true mind behind my father's death is. You should return to Stoke at once. The Reeve will need your uh, doughty, doughty arm in the time ahead. Let her know that we will come as soon as we may. I must thank you again as well for bringing me Lufa's favor. My heart remains broken, for I know we shall never meet again under favorable circumstances, but the blow is softened somewhat to know that her heart remains mine. Alright, that's everything here except for that idiot over there that's got the raid that I won't be doing, because I'm one person. I don't know, it's some guy back there that has a raid for me. This is Helm's Deep. I'm not on the uh, Mariner. No, I don't want your warband. Monsters and Mayhem, I think. Reminds me of the game Monsters and Memories.
And I'm stuck. God help me. Want to find the way in eventually. Off of this freaking hole. Welcome back, Lorandon. You say that Tordag is dead, slain by treason, and the Toringus and the Turingus, whatever, shall come late to our defense. That is ill news, indeed, but at least we have the cons uh, consolation that Ordlak has brought nearly his full garrison in good time. The loss of Tordag grieves me, for we he was a good friend and a stout warrior. However, I must look to the defense of my riding. There will be time for sorrow later. Org riders roam to and fro among the fields to the west, burning everything they see. Will you ride out and extinguish as many of the fires that you can? But I have something left of the acres to pass down to my son. Be alert for an ambush. The goblins are vicious creatures who would just as soon put you to the torch. Okay. That's where we're going to call it for tonight. Been on for right at two hours. And I got work in the morning. So I'm going to finish up here and then I'm going to go read my book and go to bed. And if you're watching on Twitch and you enjoy my content, please do me a favor and hit the follow. If you're over on YouTube watching a rebroadcast, please hit the subscribe. If you would, leave a like and a comment because it pushes my videos up when people do searches and that's awesome. Then if you go over to the big X, what used to be called Twitter, you can follow me there. It's at for on the gnome. I'll put up screenshots and stuff like that over there. That's going to do it for tonight. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night, morning, day, or whatever it is, wherever you are. This is From the Gnome, and I'm signing off. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.